Joining us now on the phone, the sheriff of San Diego County, uh, Bill Gore. Sheriff Gore, thanks very much for joining us. Give us the latest on uh, that suspicion of arson. What do we? What do you know? Well, uh, well, thanks for first of all for having me on, getting the word out to all your viewers. Uh, you know, we share the suspicions of a lot of people when you have nine separate fires started in in the course of two days. But we can't let that, that suspicion and speculation take the place of really hard facts. So as soon as we uh, could get into those fire areas, we started parallel arson investigations in each one of these, working with uh, San Diego Police Department arson investigators, the Sheriff's Department arson investigators, and the various fire agencies. Uh, collaborative effort, sharing information uh, to try to determine, first of all, we have determined the origin of the fires, and then, more importantly, the cause. And that's the more difficult part of any arson investigation. Uh, we have not, the people that have been arrested so far, we have not tied in. There's no indication that they're uh, tied into any of these other nine uh, blazes that we've had around uh, San Diego County at this point, anyway. We know that some people, even after they get an order to evacuate, uh, they resist. They don't want to leave their homes. Uh, for one thing, they're afraid of looters. Some looting has been going on. How serious of a problem, Sheriff, is this? No, what, we've, uh, what I've continually told the people here in San Diego County is that uh, when you're told to evacuate, uh, evacuate, get out of that neighborhood. It, it's for your safety, and it's for the safety of peace officers, sheriff's deputies, uh, cops that need to, to be able to uh, get into those neighborhoods, and more importantly, the firefighters. We don't want them running into to people, and when they have to go into backyards and maybe put down these fires. And I have, just in the San Marcos area, I have almost 200 deputies in there to secure those neighborhoods, make sure there are no looters, there is no vandalism, and you'll return hopefully to a, a safe neighborhood and your home will be safe and you'll be safe more importantly. So most of the people in San Diego and the fire areas have obeyed the request of the orders to evacuate, although we can't force them. Uh, we've had really good compliance because they know there's enough law enforcement to keep those neighborhoods safe. Has there been any looting going on as far as you know, Sheriff? Sure. We had one case uh, last night, in fact, San Diego Police Department, working with the Escondido Police Department, made an arrest of a person in Escondido in an evacuated neighborhood who clearly didn't belong there, stopped by police, questioned, found out he had a prior uh, arrest records, and he was arrested uh, for being in the evacuated area. He had not had a chance to do any vandalism or loot anything, but that's the one arrest that I know of. Quickly, uh, Sheriff, uh, what are your experts telling you? Ex should we expect more of these fires in the coming weeks and months? Well, I'll tell you, well, you were talking about the conditions, and they are unprecedented. Usually our fire seasons in September, October, after a very dry summer. Uh, to have this in May is, is really unusual. There's so much fuel out there. The grasses that we have on our mountainsides is just like kindling. And it can be set off by a variety of things. Uh, you know, unfortunately, a lot of times uh, lightning strikes, if you have a thunderstorm, catalytic converters on cars, a, a careless cigarette thrown out of a car window, it doesn't take much to ignite this kind of fire. We're keeping our fingers crossed and preparing, you know, hoping for the best and preparing for the worst. Good luck, uh, Sheriff. Uh, Sheriff Bill Gore of San Diego County. Uh, we're hoping uh, certainly for the best for everyone in that uh, dangerous zone.